Oh, it's going to be. I think we're going to win uh, November the second. I can, you know I wish I could tell you for sure. I wouldn't have to keep spending money, but I will tell you this: we have had the best quarter ever since I've ever run for Congress. Um, the fundraising has gone through the roof for us, and I appreciate my colleagues and people helping out. I, uh, here's why we're going to win this thing, because we've, we've been talking about issues. You know, I don't have time to demonize somebody else, Bernie. I'm talking about saving American jobs. I'm talking about the things we've done in this district. I'm talking about, you know, one day he wants to repeal the health care bill, then he says he doesn't, then he says he does, now he does, and now he does. I'm getting dizzy here. Um, th the thing is, you know, he wants to support the Korean free trade deal. That's certainly okay, as far as he's concerned. It's bad news for this district. I mean, here's a guy who said there was no steel factories located in the 17th District. I re had to almost send him a map to show him where Sterling, Illinois was. 350 jobs up there at stake. Um, uh, Sterling Steel and Wire. And, you know, I think that's one thing. I think the positions that he has, has taken on some of these are pretty extreme. The uh, wanting to tax middle-income people to pay for Social Security, I think that's a big issue. People don't like that. Um, you know, I understand when he's in the southern part of the district, he likes to tote the Tea Party line, and he comes in the northern part of the district and tries to moderate, but you can't have it both ways. I mean, people at least know, you know, where I'm at on this issue. Uh, I think those issues are going to be important. We've had um, um, a wonderful field operation, 12 people in the field since July. Numbers are coming back fairly decent. We're happy with those. Uh, and I'll tell you, I've, I've done press conferences all throughout this district, and he's done one in 16 months that I'm aware of in terms of facing cameras and all that. I think he owes it to people. The issue of the debates that we talked about before, it's still open. I will do two, and I will do them on TV, and I will I'll let the moderator be selected between both camps, and any and all questions are completely up to the moderator with no holes barred from the moderator. However, I'll tell you what I won't do. I am not going to allow, and I don't need, a cheat sheet to see the questions coming from the moderator at these, at these uh, debates. These are supposed to be about, let's talk about it. Now, if he's, a, if he's fearful that somebody's going to ask him something he can't answer, well, I have the same problem, but I think I'm pretty good on my feet. And I think the other thing, too, I think the tone of this campaign has been something less than um, stellar from the other side. But look, that's their campaign. We are doing everything we can to win. We are on the air. We are not going off the air. Uh, and uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. When you say a good quarter, can you say how much you've raised? Or? Well, um, it will be over $300,000. In a quarter? In a quarter, which we, I don't, I don't want to get into exact amounts, but we're, you know, and that's the most I think I'd ever raised before in a quarter was maybe two. So people have responded, you know, and look, I think the tide has turned. I think people are tired of this, um, you know, take our government back. Back to what? You know, back to, back, back to uh, raising the retirement age on Social Security, back to taxing middle-income people, back to, to where? Uh, the health care bill is a classic example. Look, there are, aren't, there are things in the bill I'm not happy with, but when you talk about repealing it, here's what you're really saying. You're saying to parents who can now put their diabetic child on their policy, uh, too bad, so sad. You're saying to seniors who got money for uh, to close the donor hole, have a nice day. We want the money back. You're saying to young young uh, men and women who can stay on their parents' policies now uh, through the age of 25 or 26 that that's not going to work. And then you're saying to people that the caps we're going to bring the caps back onto it. So look, uh, I think ordinary people understand this. I really do. Um, but I'm, I know this is a tough race. I haven't taken a single precinct for granted, and uh, I'm working every single day. And uh, we're not going to let up until the polls close. But I think when they do, we're going to be we're going to be happy. You know, at the end of the day, though, I will tell you, Bernie, I've enjoyed. I love this job. Um, I love helping people out. Um, I don't look at scorecards, and I don't go by what percent am I running with group A, B, and C. I want to leave that chamber when I leave it saying I did the best I could for ordinary people. And I have. And so, irregardless, and, and I do plan on winning in November. Um, somebody asked me, I said, if I was Crescent, I could probably save another $400,000 <laughs> if I knew for a fact what was going to happen. But look, I think um, my party's engaged in this race, and um, I, th I think we're where we want to be.